Hi, this is Mr. Adams from Midwood High School, and this is a video on titration calculations. Um, in the topic of titration, we're taking um, advantage of the fact that acids and bases undergo a neutralization reaction, okay, and we can use indicators to help us find um, the equivalence point. Uh, once we find that, we can use certain equations, okay, to determine any one of the variables that we don't know, as long as we know the other three. Um, it's important that we know the acid from the base. Um, tables K and L help us with that. It's important that we know the formulas that we need to use, and these two formulas right here are the ones which we'll be using in titration. Um, when you're doing titration problems and you're reading a question, make sure you understand which is the unknown variable, and always, always, always use units when you use units if they don't cancel when you're doing a procedure you know something's wrong you can go back and check your answer um the little a's okay in this equation stand for acid the b's stand for base the capital m stands for molarity and v stands for volume and in this situation over here folks um as we did in class the number sign here represents um, the amount of either the H plus for a number sign A, amount of H plus, or the amount of OH minus for a number sign B in a particular acid or base. We use that if the acid and base in question don't have a one to one ratio, but we'll talk about that later. Okay. We have a problem here. Oh, we have another problem here. What you're going to do is, as always, stop the video and um, we'll see how we do. Okay, uh, we have this problem and it's saying that we have 54 mLs of 0 0.1 molar NaOH. Okay, so we have a base and it's NaOH. We have, our, we are reacting it, we're neutralizing it with 125 mLs of hydrochloric acid solution. So our acid in question is HCl, okay, and we have NaOH as our base. Now we notice that when bases dissociate, this base dissociate, we get Na plus and we get OH minus, okay, hydroxide. When the acid ionizes, we get H plus and we get Cl minus. Now we notice right off the bat that we have a one to one ratio of H plus to OH minus. Now we can use the equation that's on um, table T for titration and it simply says that MA molarity of acid times volume of acid is equal to the molarity of base times the volume of base. And in this particular problem what are we looking for? We are looking for the concentration of the HCl. So we know from experience concentration will be capital M and since it's HCl and HCl is an acid we are looking for MA. So what we have to do next we simply have to isolate um, MA and as before MA would be equal to MB VB over VA. You should always rearrange the letters first, then you plug your numbers in. If you just plug numbers in, you're more apt to make a mistake and you'll not be able to um, uh, find it. Okay, so all we do from here now, we plug actual numbers and units in and go from there. Uh, the molarity of the base we notice over here is 0 0.1 big M. Okay, put a parentheses around that. The volume of the base in question is 54 mLs. Okay, and we divide that by the volume of the acid, which is 125 mLs. Okay, and we cancel out the mLs. We're left with capital M. That makes sense since we're looking for molarity. And we say, get our calculators. Um, 0.1 times 5 point times 54 is going to be 5.4, and 5.4 divided by 125 gives me approximately 0 
0.0432. Okay, big M around. Okay, so check that, see if you got that approximately as your answer. Okay, later on we'll probably use sig fig rules to round it properly, but that's the answer we have there. Okay, moving on. And for this question, it's another titration problem. We are given KOH. Okay, KOH when it dissociates, it goes to K plus and OH minus, and we have H2. SO4. Now H2SO4 is a strong acid. It goes to almost complete 100% ionization. Alright, so we get two H pluses and SO4 to minus. Once again, be careful with polyatomic ions. Don't separate them. They act as a unit carrying a charge. So you're not going to separate the OH, you're not going to separate the SO4, the sulfate ion. Okay, now in this particular situation, we notice we have two H pluses to every one OH minus. So now we will use the second equation, which is this guy over here. We will use the number sign equation, modified titration equation, which says number sign A M A V A equals to number sign B M B V B. Now, once again, why are we using this equation? Because our ratio of um, H plus to OH minus is not one to one. Okay, and simply our number sign A would be two. Okay, because we have two H pluses, and our number sign B would be simply one. Okay, and we read a question. All right, we are looking for concentration of H2SO4. Now, once again, since it's H2SO4 and H2O4, H2SO4 is an acid, we are once again looking for MA. Now, this time, MA would be equal to number sign B, M, B, V, B over number sign A, V, A. You plug your numbers in and you go from there. Okay, so as you said before, number sign B will be 1. The molarity of the base is 0 0.5 big M. The volume of the base is 50 mLs. Okay, that goes on the top. We will divide it all by 2. That's our number sign A. Okay, since we have 2 H pluses. And that will be multiplied by the volume of the acid, which happens to be 125 mLs. Okay, so I'm looking at this. I'm seeing that we have um, in the top we have 0.5 times 50. That should be 25. And that's 25 divided by 250. So I'm thinking my answer should give me something around 0.1. But we'll check it out again. Okay, so we have 25. Divided by 250 equals to 0.1. There we go. All right, good. So the answer is 0 0.1 big M. As we noticed as before, our mLs, milliliters, they cancel out. We have 0 0.1 big M as our final answer, our concentration of the acid H2SO4. All right, guys. Um, this is once again a short video on titration problems. We did an example using both of these equations right here, okay? If you have a one-to-one -one ratio, you use this equation, okay, which is on your reference table. If it so happens, you don't have a one-to-one -one ratio of OH minus to H plus, you use this equation right here, modified with the number signs. As always, hard work plus sacrifice equals success. Um, we have a quiz coming up soon. We have our test coming up next week. So take care, do well.